first they came for the social. And I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists. And I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the jewels. And I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. And they came for me. And there was no one left to speak for me. Is playing music a form of resistance? Is playing music a form of resistance? Germany lost 13% of its territory and was forced to pay reparations to other countries. Defeated and humiliated, with its economy collapsing, Germany elected the Nazi party and made Adolf Hitler chancellor. Hitler claimed he could return Germany to its former greatness and blame the Jews for Germany's problems. Hitler and the Nazis gradually solidified their grip on the government until Hitler was dictator of Germany. They believed that the German people were a superior race called the Aryans, destined to rule the world. They believed that the Jews were an, an inferior race that had poisoned Germany. At first, Jews were required to register and their rights were gradually taken away. They were not allowed to own businesses or to have certain jobs. In 1933, Jewish scientists Albert Einstein left Germany when it became illegal for Jews to have jobs at universities. In 1935, Germany decreed that Jews could not be German citizens. As Germany invaded more of Europe, it seized control of Austria, Czechoslovakia, and Poland. Millions of Jews lived in these territories, and the Nazis began to transport them to ghettos and concentration camps. Between 1941 and 1945, six million Jews were murdered by the Nazis. Many of them were killed in gas chambers in concentration camps, and others were shot to death. The Nazis also murdered millions of other people they considered inferior, including Slavs, Roma, handicapped people, and homosexuals. There were some Jews that had international reputations and were too famous and successful for the Nazis to kill. In 1941, the Nazis started sending some Jews to special concentration camps in Czechoslovakia called Turrentin. Between 1941 and 1945, 141,000 Jews were sent to Turrentin, including artists, musicians, scientists, and academics. Conditions in the camp were dismal. Prisoners worked 12 hours a day at hard labor and had very little to eat and no medical care. Epidemics of scarlet fever, typhoid, diphtheria, and polio were common. Still, prisoners somehow found ways to make art. Pianists gave recitals on pianos that were missing keys. 
artists used whatever material they could find to build sets for the theatrical performances. A young Czech conductor named Raphael Schechter started a choir for the prisoners, rehearsing in a basement. Schechter brought with him a single copy of the sheet music to various Requiem, a monumental piece of a large orchestra, choir, and soloist that lasts about 90 minutes. With only one copy of the music, Schechter helped each musician to memorize the entire piece. Although Bernie's Requiem is a Catholic Mass, the music sounds very angry and vengeful. The work's message about divine retribution resonated with the prisoners. They used music as an act of defiance. Even when the members of the choir were killed or deported, Schechter would recruit new musicians and teach them the music. Between 1942 and 1944, they performed this piece 15 times. How did the Holocaust happen? How did ordinary Germans allow the Nazis to take power? Why did they do nothing when their neighbors lost their rights? When their neighbors were dehumanized? And deported and murdered. How could German soldiers have committed these actions? What do these atrocities tell us about human nature? Could this happen again? These are difficult questions, and there are no simple answers. Some Germans risked their lives to help Jews. Many of them sacrificed their lives. Thousands of people throughout Europe, Africa, the Middle East, Asia, and the Americas stood up against injustice and helped Jews to escape the Nazis. How can we prevent such atrocities from happening again? Jewish writer Elie Wiesel survived the Auschwitz concentration camp. He wrote, I swore never to be silent, whenever and wherever. Human beings endure suffering and humiliation. We must take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor, never the victim. Silence encourages the tormentor, never the tormentor. Is playing music a form of resistance? Yes, yes, because absolutely. it's the way that they were keeping their humanity.
Thank you.